Hey you guys, well, all right, I've made this video like three times and hopefully it'll work this time. It's always the sound is off a little bit, but I was gonna tell you guys how it came about that we were asked to be parents to this new baby coming. And um, y'all know it's a boy and uh, he is due December 11th and we're so excited. So here's how it went down. Okay, so basically um, we were contacted by an expectant mom and she lived in a different state and um, we had been emailing back and forth, back and forth. Well, then um, I was going to go visit my family. Well, just so happens that she had family there too. And she was going to be moving from the state she was in to the state her family was in. And so when I told her that we were going to be there, I asked her if she wanted to meet up. And she was like, yeah, sure, I'd love it. So um, we met up on, let's see, I can't remember the exact date. Um, but we met up, she came to my mom's house and she brought a friend with her and she was a real cute girl. She was, um, she's short, well everybody's short compared to us, but, um, she had a little bump and I don't know, it was really weird. I, I thought I'd be super, super, super nervous, but I wasn't really that nervous for some reason. I don't know if it's just because I've learned to never doubt the Lord anymore as far as, um, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen type thing. So... Um, she came over and like instantly when she got there, Sawyer just grabbed her hand and was like, come on, come on. And, um, he dragged her and her friend upstairs to his room and he has his own little room at my mom's house and, and he wanted to show her his toys, which he'd never done that to anybody before. I kind of thought that was weird. So he took him, he took the girls up to his room and they looked in his bed and they saw that he had a giraffe in his bed. And this giraffe is all grungy. It's missing an eye and it used to have like pink ears and now they're brown because they're just, he rubs them to death every time he goes to sleep. But, um, but I guess one of their friends had also just placed a baby for adoption and that baby had that same giraffe. And so it was kind of like a weird coincidence. So I don't know. I, th I kind of thought it was neat, but Sawyer is so attached to that giraffe. Anyway, so that was like what happened in like the first five minutes. So then um, they came back downstairs and we talked a little bit. And Brett wasn't with me. He, he had to stay in Texas. And so we Skyped Brett real quick and he just basically said hi. And, um, but nothing big or anything. So then um, we went to the park. And when we were at the park, we were just playing. And I was just talking to this girl and her friend and... And, you know, it's just kind of weird because it's like you, um, it's like you want to talk about the future, but you don't want her to feel like that you're just assuming that she's going to pick you. So it's kind of like a weird medium that you have to find of what to talk about. And, um, so she did give me sonogram pictures and I've, I've shown you guys some pictures on other videos, but I just, um... I was just so, like, I thought that was a good sign that she gave us sonogram pictures, and, um, so then we were at the park, and they had this kind of, like, reflective pond in there, well, Sawyer just, without thinking, just darted to the pond, and just jumped in and got all wet, and it's like, I don't know, for some people, they would think that was, like, the worst thing their kid could do, but my kid was already wet, so I just let him play in it, I didn't care, and I guess she kind of thought that was neat that I didn't, like, hover over him or freak out that he got all wet. I mean, he's, he's like, almost two. So um, he was playing in this little pond or whatever, and then when he got out, he was really cold. He was going, cold, Mom, I'm cold. So I just, like, stripped him down to his diaper, and the diaper was so heavy, it was just, like, sagging off his little tush. So I just took his diaper off. And it was about time to go anyways. So I just, he just like ran to the car while I was holding his hand. We were just walking, like he was butt naked to the car. And I was thinking like the whole time, like, oh my gosh, she either is going to think I'm the worst parent in the world or she's going to think it's like cute or whatever. <laughs> so I was hoping she would think it was cute. So um, as we're walking, she's like, that is just the cutest thing. She said that she was that same way when she was little. And she loved that how I just didn't care that he was naked in the park. I mean, he's a little kid. And um, so I guess that, you know, didn't scare her off, which is good. So then I didn't hear from her for a couple days, and I was like, oh, starting to worry, because she didn't, like, ask us to be um, his parents or anything, which is fine, you know. It's like a huge decision. And so um, I told her that we were going to be, she lived about an hour, over an hour away from where my mom lived. And I told her we were going to be up kind of in that direction if she wanted to meet up. 
And um, she was like, yeah, sure, I'd love to. So um, her and her mom met me and my mom and Heath and my sisters, and we all went and saw Dolphin Tail. And she had wanted to see this movie. She's actually met Winter the Dolphin that didn't have a tail. So we went and saw that, and then afterwards we went to the food court and uh, just got something to eat, and we talked. And I got to talk to her mom and meet her mom, and her mom is also an adoptive mom. So her mom knows exactly what I'm going through. And she was real sweet and very, um, she was very reassuring. She's like, I just feel really good about you guys. And that just like felt really good to hear. So, um, let's see, after that night, still didn't know where we stood. Um, so I guess a couple more days go by and then, I hear story. Oh, okay. So then, um, a couple more days go by and then we, um, I told her I was going to be up in her direction again if she wanted to meet up for dinner. Yeah. So, um, we went to dinner, just her and I this time. And this time when I went, I was like, okay, you know, there's some questions I've had on my mind and I just need to ask her these things. And so we met up at one of her favorite, um, little Mexican restaurants and, um, I just, you know, I kind of wanted to know where she stood as far as, you know, does she feel like she needs to meet Brett before she makes a decision or, um, you know, is there any concerns that she has about us? You know, I just wanted her to know that she's free to ask us whatever she wants. And she's like, no. And I don't know. I guess she just saw that I, I was really trying to be patient, but it's just kind of hard because it's like, it's the rest of your life, you know, but I know it's her life and it's a huge decision. I didn't want her to feel pressured. And, um, so then she said, well, she goes, I was trying to think of how I was going to tell you guys this, but I'm just going to tell you, she's like, I'm going to pick you guys. And oh my gosh, I just like started crying right there at the table. And I picked Sawyer up and like, I was shielding him because we're in a restaurant and here I am just crying, sobbing over here. Then Sawyer like dumps his glass all over me. So it looked like I wet myself. So it was kind of a bittersweet um, moment. But I just felt bad because I felt like I ruined how she wanted to tell us. But then she said she had something for us at her house, and she lived right down the road. And she's like, would you mind coming over? I said, no, okay, we'll go over there. So we went over there, and um, we walk in, and she's like, can I borrow Sawyer for a little bit? I said, okay. So she took Sawyer in the other room, and when he came back, <laughs> he had a shirt on that said Big Brother on it. And, uh, oh. I just, I took everything I had not to just cry because her whole family was there and um, I just, I, I don't know, I was just so happy. I mean, there's not a word for it. It's like beyond happy. It's beyond ecstatic. It's, it's um, a very grateful feeling that you feel and um, I'm glad this is the third time I recorded this because the other two I'm just like sobbing as I'm telling this, but um it is, it was a great day, and her family was very excited for us, and so then we were trying to figure out how to tell Brett, because, you know, Brett wasn't with me, it was just Sawyer and I, so I wanted to just send him a picture of Sawyer with that shirt on, but Brett doesn't have texting on his phone, so I was trying to figure out how to send it to him, finally, I was like, I kept calling him, like, all right, I'm gonna send it to your email, check your email, and he's like, well, what is it? I said, uh, don't worry about it. He's like, did she ask us to be the parents? And I said, no, she didn't. And he's like, oh, well, then what is it? He's like, what could it be then? So then finally he got the picture and he called and he's like, you're such a jerk. <laughs> and he's like, oh my gosh. But see, Brett, he's kind of quiet. And like his excitement point is like most people's like mellow point. So he was really excited. And then the next person I told was Lauren, Sawyer's birth mom. And I texted her and I just said, so he's going to be a big brother. And she like instantly called. And I put her on speakerphone and she's like, are you for real? And I said, yes. And I was sitting right next to this girl. And and it was, she was just so, Lauren was just so excited for us. Jason are excited for us. And then, and then like I started calling my family and I had them on speakerphone. And my sister Summer just screamed like the whole time. Like I don't, I don't even know what she said. She was just screaming. And so our whole family is super, super, super excited. And um, so that's basically how it came about. And that's kind of like a positive pregnancy test when you, um, you know, I've never had one of those before. So it's like, I guess that's like the closest you can come to. 
And um, I know it's kind of soon because we only have, what, like five, six weeks left till he's here. But I'm just, I'm not really worried about anything. I feel like I can do this. It's, it's going to be okay. So um, there you go. There's the story of how it all came about. And it was a great day. I absolutely love this girl. She is so sweet. And she is um, amazing. And uh, I got to, she let me like rub her belly. And I got to talk to him and say, hi, baby. And um, I, he never kicked or anything. So, but it was just weird to talk to him. And um, I don't know. It's just like, I hope he knows that. He's loved already, you know. I mean, I'm sure that he knows that his birth family loves him very much. But, um, I don't know. I just, I'm so excited to hold him. So, anyways, that's how it went down. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Y'all are amazing. See ya.